Hello, good evening, everyone. Uh, so thank you so much for joining the Green Energy Champion Briefing Webinar. And uh, so today we are going to talk to you and take you through uh, the process of application uh, for the Green Energy Champion. Uh, so what I will do is first uh, take you through the outline of program uh, that we have the webinar outline we have for you today. Uh, before that, let me introduce myself. So I'm Sasmini Bandara, co-director of the Green Energy Champion Accelerator from HAT. And we also have Shenali De Silva uh, joining from uh, uh, GLX, uh, the, the, the other co-director of the Green Energy Champion Accelerator. So uh, we will take you through the relevant materials uh, about the selection process and how you can apply and who are eligible for this uh, program. And also we will take you through um, what benefits that you will gain out of taking part in this accelerator program first and afterwards after we share all this information we will open this session for q and where you can send out your questions and we can uh, provide you with answers as much as we can uh, so let me first uh, uh, before we start on uh, uh, one thing uh, that you can um, keep in mind is that we will also have uh, our colleagues uh, sending out comments uh, on uh, on the zoom chat as well as facebook live comment section with all the links that are relevant to the information that we will be sharing so uh, let me start with what is green energy champion project so green energy champion project is on a mission to promote energy efficiency and conscious energy consumption in sri lanka so it was initiated in 2016 and now we are on the fourth phase and it aims to raise public awareness and foster green energy visionaries like you in sri lanka so on behalf of federal foreign office gic supports the sri lankan ministry of power state ministry of solar wind and hydropower generation projects development in improving energy efficiency in sri lanka so as an integral part of this project the green energy accelerator program is implemented by hat in collaboration with uh, good life x so uh, this is an expedition to identify businesses actively trying to implement energy efficient projects and provide them with resources for training and drive nascent product development and growth. So Green Energy Champion Accelerator 2021 will provide you with the opportunity to tap into global markets and while raising your brand visibility locally and globally. So uh, this project is also supported by the delegation of German industry and commerce, as well as the Sri Lanka Sustainable Energy Authority. So that is Green Energy Champion 2021 in nutshell. Uh, let's go a bit more detail into who is eligible for this uh, program and who can apply for this project. So um, in terms of applicants, um, there are three key areas that we are focused on. So those three areas are sustainable mobility, energy efficiency, and renewable energy. So if you fall within any of these areas, and if you have a minimum viable product, that is a working prototype or a product that is already out on the market, you are uh, eligible to apply for this program. So. Um, just a business plan would not be sufficient. Uh, you have to have a minimum viable product. If you have any questions with regard to uh, the eligibility of criteria, uh, drop in the questions uh, in the Zoom chat. We will be able to answer you during the Q&A session. So in terms of, uh, let me take you through the process of application. So after you figure out whether you are, um, uh, you can apply for this program, then the next step is to identify the process of application. So um, 
we need uh, you to complete an online Google form in terms of applying for this program. So in the Google form, there are two important documents that we have requested from you. So uh, one is the executive summary template, which outlines the key project detail. And if you go into the, uh, if you click on the links that we have provided in the Zoom, uh, Zoom chat or the Facebook comment section, you will be able to find this, uh, for find the uh, link to download the executive summary uh, template. So in the executive summary template, we will be, uh, we have requested you to provide us with the information in terms of uh, the value proposition of your product, uh, the, uh, where, what is your go-to-market and the market overview, the competitive landscape, uh, what is the climate impact that your solution have for the environment, uh, the financing and the uh, information about the core team involved. So all of this information is necessary and required for us to uh, make a decision with regard to your uh, application. So we um, we would humbly request you to fill in all that information with uh, attention to details so we can make a good decision about uh, your application as well. And along with this information, we will require you to uh, fill an IP disclosure agreement where you will be stating the um, or giving us an idea about the intellectual property rights applicable to your project. All of this information that is uh, given in the Green Energy Champion Executive Summary will be kept in confidence and will only be used and uh, shared with the relevant stakeholders. Um, uh, so once this, uh, once you submit the application, uh, the executive uh, summary template, we will also require you to uh, submit a presentation or more or less a pitch deck about your project. So usually the pitch deck will composed of like what your problem is, what your solution for that problem, the target market value proposition, team info, etc. If you need any sort of resources to identify how to make a pitch deck, uh, you can always uh, get in touch with Hatch or GLX so that we can provide you with um, any um, presentation links that would be useful in terms of making the pitch deck. So all of this information after you submit the application, uh, we will get in touch with you with the selected applicant for an interview. So once the interview process is done, we will be announcing the winners of the accelerator program. And uh, this accelerator, accelerator program will be launched in July, uh, which will uh, be a six months business development program, uh, which, uh, which will go until December. So um, along with the, uh, this information about the application process, we would also like to announce that we are extending the application deadline, uh, uh, which was initially 14th of May up until 22nd of May midnight. So uh, you have a bit of time now to apply for the Green Energy Champion Accelerator Program. So um, uh, like some of you might have uh, questions about what an accelerator program is. What is what do you do during that program? How do how would I benefit out of it? So let me tell you a few things about uh, what an accelerator program is. Uh, so uh, uh, an accelerator program provides you with an opportunity on speeding up the learning uh, learning cycle at a time constrained format. So it will also give you a different perspective from different markets to different mentors. So in this program, specifically in the Green Energy Accelerator program, you will, uh, each startup or the SME, uh, will engage with the business development mentor who will hold you accountable for your growth and guide you to right resources. Then you will also uh, gain access to uh, knowledge on your product market fit, effective communication, and then uh, you will have access to training and uh, knowledge on product prototyping with us. Also uh, access to local and global networks of partners and mentors through uh, partner matchmaking events and demo day. 
So uh, the last but not least, one of the main benefits that you will also be gaining is uh, we will be procuring materials that you will need to scale or grow in the market or pay for the services up to 1.5 million rupees uh, in terms of capacity building and strengthening your startup or the SME. So uh, these are the a few benefits that we will uh, gain out of uh, accelerator programs. Uh, and uh, you can find all the information about uh, the benefits in much larger scale and in detail uh, from our website as well. And uh, other than uh, this, you will also be able to uh, co-work at Hatch for the six months that you will be engaging in uh, the accelerator program. So um, Shanali, why don't we uh, talk a bit about like the frequently asked questions uh, from the participants? Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, so uh, one of the questions that were always uh, directed at me was uh, like, um, so uh, do I work full time on this uh, what is an accelerator program? Like, do, do I not do my uh, current operations? How does it work? So uh, would you mind explaining a bit about uh, the commitment and the allocation of time that they will have to go through if they get selected as participants? Sure. So ideally, um, it'll be up to a maximum of around eight hours a week, um, depending on the type of experts you're connected with as well, and depending on the requirement as well. But that would be a maximum um, number of hours. Of course, if you have an extensive amount of work that you need to do with the experts, this time might be extended as well. Um, a good gauge of the time that you'll need to spend is around eight hours a week. Um, and that can be spread across the week, depending on your agreement with the experts you all will be working with. Um, Sasmi, another question that we often get asked is what kind of experts uh, will be working with or will be part of the program? Um, and this really uh, ranges across business development, uh, market access, uh, product development, um, and that sphere of the work that encompasses accelerating your product and taking it to market um, in a record time of three months, three to six months. Um, another question that I was asked by the uh, startups and SMEs was like, uh, what is the difference uh, and most mostly partners as well? Uh, what is the difference uh, between the last year of uh, the Green Energy Champion and this year Green Energy Champion and how we are going to provide that opportunity for them through an accelerator program? Um, would you like to briefly answer on that as well? Sure. Um, sorry, Jasmine, the line isn't too clear. Um, would you mind? Yes, so one uh, question that I have been often asked is like how it is different from the last uh, few cohorts of last few uh, rounds of Green Energy Champion. How does this year is different from last right. year? Got it. Yes, so essentially previous it was a competition um, that was held based on the solution that you have built. But this time it's an accelerator program, meaning that you, we are helping you um, create or take your product to market um, at a better level and at a faster period of time that then would essentially be taken for doing the work that is done within the program so from building a business strategy to building a marketing strategy to all of that uh, is done within a shorter period of time so the program in itself is is the essence of what the accelerator is um, in terms of the not only uh, it being a competition, but rather helping you enrich your product and creating um, a better solution, taking to market at a faster period of time. Yeah. Um, so the uh, another question is like, um, uh, would uh, can I apply with a team that has a working prototype, even if my company is not registered? Um, so. Yeah, that's a, another frequently asked question that we have uh, coming in. Yes. Um, 
So um, Sasan, you want to take that one? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, basically, in our Google form itself, we have asked for registration uh, of of the company. So basically, if you have a company which is registered, uh, you will have to submit uh, the registration documents of in uh, including the PV numbers or whatever it's necessary registration numbers. But if you don't have, no problem at all. The only thing that we require is the MVP, the prototype or a working uh, model of a prototype in the market. Uh, that is one of the most important thing. Uh, so um, if you have a team, if you have a prototype, uh, apply, we will guide you through uh, the growth of your business and um, one week or two weeks into the accelerate program you might also register into the register your business with our guidance so that is possible as well uh yeah uh, that is the very uh, much frequently asked question from us um and um would you like to take them through like a few things that is needed in like a, a high level pitch um 30 second pitch uh Sure. Um, so in terms of a very high level pitch, what you would need to clearly state is the problem that your your product or the co your company's solution is aiming to solve. Um, this has to be very clearly articulated. Um, secondly, you have to give a good sense of why this product uh, has a competitive edge, uh, what the value proposition of that product is, and ultimately, um, the the benefit that it provides to the consumers as well yeah yeah so uh, another uh, not a frequently asked question but uh, this can be a question that um, uh, our participants or uh, who are interested in applying would have uh, whether this competition only is only open for sri lankans um, so international applicants are welcome to apply, provided you have a Sri Lankan co-founder or a partner, uh, a citizen who has an equal stake in the business or the idea. So, um, uh, and if it is a startup or an SME, it has to be incorporated in Sri Lanka. Uh, so uh, that, that is a question that uh, possibly might have, like some of you might have uh, in terms of your incorporation as well. And um, uh, so uh, in terms of the intellectual property rights also, we would like to add, uh, if you have a question about will your intellectual property uh, rights be protected, uh, we would like to state that there is no transfer of ownership for your, of your ideas or concepts uh, involved in the process of these accelerator programs and uh, all the details collected through the executive summary and uh, Google form will be kept in confidence and uh, uh, the IP disclosure agreement does not uh, amount to a transfer of ownership of IP rights. Um, so that those are a few points that we would like to highlight. Um, does anyone in the audience have any questions for us uh, in terms of um, anything, uh, any startups or SMEs who is present in the audience today? I think we have one question, Satsani. Um, someone has asked, is, is a working prototype compulsory to be eligible for the accelerator program? Uh, yes, it absolutely is. Yes. Mm, yeah. It is. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, right. Um, if does anyone want to like unmute themselves? If they un if they want to unmute themselves, I think we can arrange um, them um, uh, like asking the question out loud as well. Uh, Okay, so uh, the main reason that we are having this conversation is sometimes it might be, uh, um, yeah, so main reason that we are having this conversation today is uh, sometimes it might be a new uh, in, uh, 
a new program for you in terms of green energy sector itself. So we want to create that awareness uh, among you uh, about, uh, about this um, green energy accelerator program. So accelerator program is a six month long commitment and uh, it is, uh, uh, you can call it as a business development program as well, which will support you in your growth and um, operations and product development throughout these six months from July to December. So uh, we are looking forward uh, to, um, okay, we have one more question of which, Ask the same question actually, is it compulsory to have a working prototype? Uh, what about an idea stage prototype? Um, uh, so if you're in the idea stage and if you have a prototype of the proposed project, uh, we, would, uh, request, we would encourage you to apply and uh, in the selection process, uh, when we are reviewing, we will uh, review uh, there are selection uh, criteria uh, in listed on our website as well. Uh, so, in terms of the selection uh, criteria, we will look into whether uh, your prototype falls within one of the sustainability uh, areas that you are focused on. One is sustainable mobility, uh, whether it falls within energy efficiency or renewable energy. And then uh, comes the minimum viable product, whether it's a, a pro working prototype or a product that is already on the market. And then we will work, uh, go into technical feasibility, financial sustainability, uh, market fit, scalability, impact, and uh, at last, uh, most powerful um, uh, pros, uh, selection criteria, the team that is involved. So all of this have to be met as well when you are applying. So uh, really, uh, you can really think about uh, these things before apply as well, even if you are in the ideation stage. Uh, yes. And also, if you want more information about the Green Energy Championship, um, you can visit www.greenenergychampion.lk. Um, where you get detailed information about uh, how, how to apply, what the criteria is, how the process will work, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Um, do we have any uh, questions on the live uh, video, um, Alvin? So yeah, that's it from the live video as well. Um, so uh, if there is any other questions so that you can uh, get in touch with us um, via our social media platforms or um, uh, via social media platforms of Green Energy Champion uh, itself, we will be able to provide you with uh, necessary information about the selection process to application process. Um, uh, we have a question about, uh, uh, would you be able to guide anyone to expand their markets to international level? Shanali, would you like yes. to take? Yes, uh, of course. So the answer to that question at a high level is yes. Uh, it also depends on how scalable your product is or service is, uh, but that is definitely one of the aims of helping you out through this program. Sorry, uh, so I was talking about how we were, uh, I was on mute, sorry about that. Uh, so I was talking about how we are going to introduce our uh, selected participants of the accelerator program to uh, our local and as well as international mentors, uh, experts and partners through our partner matchmaking events to demo day and where we will be um, we will get a chance and opportunity to uh, pitch in front of our partners as well. So uh, 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 along with the knowledge that we are going to provide you throughout the accelerator program on uh, internet, uh, uh, in getting into uh, international markets, we will also be giving you an opportunity to meet partners and experts. 
Um, we have another question, Sasmini. Someone's asked if, uh, when will they know about the selection process? As in when, if they are selected oh. or not and how that works. Okay, so uh, an update about the selection process will be given. Uh, so if you are selected, we will be getting in touch with you for the preliminary interview. Uh, which uh, uh, which will happen uh, towards the end of uh, middle of June, and uh, the accelerator program will be launched in the first week of July. So uh, by the end of May, you should hear from us about the uh, whether you got selected or not. I think we have yet another question. Um, how will the one point five million be dispersed to the startups? What are the types of things that we can spend the money on? Um, so that's a good question. Um, firstly, um, the, you you can spend up to 1.5 million, uh, provided that it is required for developing your solution. Um, a key thing to remember here that it won't be provided as cash in bank. Uh, rather, it will be provided to the vendors who will be supporting building your solution. So for example, if you require building a social media platform and you have a social media marketing firm who's doing that for you, uh, the funding will be then dispersed to the um, social media marketing firm that's doing that. Secondly, um, it cannot be used for um, current employee salaries, rents, etc. So Per only pertaining to the development of a product and not existing contracts that you all are having. Yeah, and we will also uh, support you in terms of procuring um, uh, uh, the materials which will be required in product development as well, uh, prototyping uh, and uh, uh, the services that we, we will be providing. Um, no, the um, so there's one question that's been asked, not found the salaries or um, new team growth. Um, so here the caveat is that you can't use the funding for payment of salaries. However, if there's a requirement to develop your product either through materials or services, that can be accommodated into the fund. I hope that was clear. Uh, someone has asked whether it is 1.5 million LKR or USD. Uh, it is 1.5 million LKR. Okay, uh, so good. Um, anything else? I'm just checking live uh, whether we have anything else going on. Uh, okay, so we don't have any live uh, questions. Uh, uh, so, um, we hope that we answered all the questions uh, you had in terms of uh, selecting a uh, selection process to eligibility to what benefits you will gain out of this. And uh, if you have any other questions, please get in touch with us through the uh, social media platforms of Women Edge Champion as well as if you uh, want answers for any technical expertise, uh, just get in touch with Hatch or GLX through our social media uh, pages as well. Uh, and uh, okay, uh, we have just one more question after that we will conclude this webinar. Uh, if a product is still in conceptual stage, would you be able to guide through production, marketing and other business operations? Uh, um Shinar I think this question was answered um, before, but just to clarify, um, we're not looking at something at a conceptual stage per se, where it's ideal if you have a, pro a working prototype. However, we encourage you to apply um, and during the evaluation process and depending on these criteria, we will consider it, but there's no guarantee that you will be selected. Yes, and there are two questions about uh, how is Hatch involved in this? And would they be giving us space, et cetera? Uh, yes. So in terms of the involvement of Hatch, Hatch is uh, implementing the Green Energy Accelerator Program in collaboration with GLX. And uh, uh, we are providing a, a space for six months 
for the up to uh, two um, team members of each startup which will get selected uh, for uh, for the entirety of the six months uh, uh, as an added benefit. Uh, but Hatch is uh, involved in much, much larger capacity uh, in terms of uh, uh, providing mentorship uh, and uh, collaborating with, uh, in collaboration with GLX as well. Um, so yeah, I hope that answered the question of the, whatever uh, the space uh, related question too. Uh, anything else? Uh, okay. Um, so just like I said before, you guys can get in touch with us. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for spending your evening here. Okay, uh, uh, we will, uh, okay, wait, one more question is there. This is, might be a bit important. Uh, so we will answer this as well. Uh, Ashraf is asking who will be evaluating the projects? Um, Shanali, would you like to go ahead with that? Yes, so that will be an internal panel of individuals from both um, Hatch as well as GLA. Yes. Uh, so any other questions, please get in touch with us and we will be happy to uh, support you and guide you through the entire process. Um, thank you so much for um, uh, have, uh, being here and uh, uh, spending your uh, uh, evening with us uh, to get to know more about Green Energy Champion 2021. Um, thank you again. Have a good evening.